question number 169 show 4x plus 3y plus 1 dx plus 3x plus 2y plus 1 dy equal to 0 is a family of hyperbolas with a common axis and tangent at the vertex so given equation is in the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0 First, we check whether the given equation is exact by using the necessary and sufficient condition uh, for such differential equation to be exact. Dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x. So m here is 4x plus 3y plus 1 and n here is 3x plus 2y plus 1. So m by dou y is 3 and dou n by dou x is equal to 3 therefore dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x the, that implies differential equation is exact solution for such equations are solution integral m dx plus integral terms sorry terms in n without x dy equal to c so we have integral 4x plus 3y plus 1 dx plus integral terms in n without x which is 2y plus 1 dy so we have 4x square by 2 plus 3yx plus x plus 2y square by 2 plus y equal to c sorry equal to c multiplying throughout by 2 we have um, 8x square plus 6xy plus sorry mistake so simplifying we have 2 to 2x square plus 3xy plus y square plus y equal to c so this is our solution now the question asks uh, whether the solution is a family of hyperbolas with a common axis and tangent at the vertex so common so we just have to check whether this equation represent a set of hyperbolas so comparing it with the general equation ax square plus b y square plus h x y plus gx plus hy plus d equal to 0 we get um, a equal to 2 b equal to 1 h is equal to 3 g equal to usually we write sorry usually we write 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2hy okay I will rewrite the entire thing sorry ax square plus by square plus 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2hy sorry 2 fy plus d equal to 0 now comparing we have our a equal to 2 b equal to 1 h is equal to 3 by 2 g equal to x coefficient okay there was an x here sorry Okay, 
there was an x right so i missed out g equal to 1 by 2 mm, f equal to 1 by 2 and d d becomes minus c so for a general equation like uh, for this general equation to be hyper to be a hyperbola h h square minus a b should be a positive quantity greater than zero uh, the condition uh, for a for hyperbola So if h square minus ab is less than zero it can be a circle or ellipse and when h square is equal to ab then it is a parabola so h square minus ab should be greater than zero and we have uh, a, a checking h square is 9 by 4 minus ab is 2 so 9 by 4 is greater than 2 which is greater than zero Mm, so um, uh, that therefore therefore given equation uh, given equation represents a family of hyperbolas with a common axis and uh, tangent at vertex so this is the solution so this is the solution to question number 169 so since this uses a different concept i'm going to mark star uh, sorry I'm going to mark this question star. So this is important question. Uh, when revising the questions, like we can, we should make sure that we don't miss this one. So this is an important concept. H square minus a b is greater than zero. Uh, if we don't know uh, this condition, then we will not be able to solve this question. So yeah. This is an important section. Uh, and yeah. So this is the solution to question 169.